And basically, ladies and gentlemen, just like you did before, just like the last problem, you can apply distributive property in here. You can multiply this number times both of those, and then this number times both of those, then this number times both of those. And I, and I told you what happens, what's the most, that happens the most often is students do it this way and they get things like confused. Um, they get things mixed up and so forth. So using the box method is just really a way for us to organize what we're doing. Because as we talked about with factoring, multiplying is finding the area, right? We're taking the side lengths. When we say we want to multiply this times this, we're, we're basically saying what is length times width? Length times width is going to give us our area. So basically what you do is you just write one um, one by one um, uh, one expression on the one side and then another expression on the other side. Now if you have three terms, you break it up into three different boxes. If you have two terms, you break it up into two different boxes. And breaking it up this way is the same thing. It's just I'm still going to have to multiply x squared times x, right? x squared, you're going to have to multiply times x eventually. But doing it this way, what we're doing is we're looking at it as far as finding the area of the box, which is just length times width. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x squared times negative 5, negative 5x five squared. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15. And what I like most about this box method is on the diagonals, as long as you wrote your um, problem in descending order, on the diagonals you have like terms that you can combine. So now that's going to be my um, leading term, which is going to have my degree and leading coefficient, which would be 3 as the degree, 1 as the leading coefficient. Then I combine these terms, combine these terms, and that's my final term. So my final answer is x cubed minus 7x squared um, plus 7x plus 15.